there welcome back to the channel today we are in the month of scary it's already holiday season can someone please tell me what happened in 2020 like i barely remember my birthday i mean i remember my birthday i have a whole video on it <laughs> i gotta see my best my best 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 friend after way too long so like, i remember that but like i swear that I miss you, Brooke. Hi, I miss you. Um, <laughs> but I swear, like, it has been, it's been a blink of an eye. Dang. Already holiday, Halloween, hol hol what am I trying to say? It's already the holidays, and it is the scariest time of year, Halloween. So I went online, I picked six questions for us to answer, just so that we're on the uh, same page right now. I love Halloween. It's like the one time of year I get to channel this other side of me that I really try to like suppress down into my body because my parents don't love that side of me. I don't always love that side of me, but when it hits October 1st, I'm like, screw y'all, I'm getting spooky. As you can tell by my beautiful background. <laughs> so uh, I picked out six questions and if you know why I picked out six, like this video. So I know that, you know, you get it too. I could have chosen 13, but six is easier <laughs> so number one until what age did you start and stop trick-or-treating well technically 18 i stopped because we don't know if we can trick-or-treat this year i heard that there's gonna be some kind of law against trick-or-treating this halloween that they're actually putting a state thing saying they are canceling halloween this year i don't know if that's for globally or if that's just washington state um, that we cannot have trunk or treats, trick or treats, church gatherings, or anything like that. So 18 <laughs> was last year, uh, was my last year. I didn't start trick or treating until I was eight or nine. I think it was, I think it was my ninth. Yeah, I was nine years old. I started growing up. Um, I lived with family members, not really family. I lived with people, uh, my mom and then some others who I don't think really wanted me to celebrate it. I'm not sure that's my mom doing, the other human beings doing, or what? Uh, so it wasn't until I moved in with my uncle that any form of magic, fairy tale, scary, Halloween-esque anything came into my life. So I was already like seven when that happened when I moved in with my uncle. And so then when I was eight, I really don't think I cared that much. I don't know. And then when I was nine, uh, by the time my cousin Stephen moved in and started taking care of me, taking care of me, um, that's when I started doing Halloween. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I really wasn't introduced to that kind of stuff growing up. So, like, I was the kid in school that told you Santa wasn't real, Tooth Fairy wasn't real, Beach Bunny wasn't real. Like, all of those, like, fairy tales your parents tell you. And if you're younger, plug your ears. Um, yeah, I was that kid, like, but the tooth fairy's not real, cause like that's what I was told my whole life. So I never got to believe in Santa Claus. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> uh, number two, favorite horror film. If you don't watch horror, my favorite Halloween themed movie. Oof, I don't really do horror films. Something about horror films terrifying. My boyfriend loves horror films, like loves horror films. He he's obsessed. I I can't do them. I can't. Uh, I think sometimes I watch Friday the 13th for the comedy of it all, because, um, I was born back in 2001, July, Friday the 13th at 2.06, and if you guys didn't know, that's in between two pretty scary hours. Midnight is witching hour, and 3 a.m. is hunting hour for ghosts. I was born kind of in the middle lining of those two, um, hours. Yeah. I'm supposed to be some kind of like probably demon child. I'm not, I promise. So I like watching that for this kind of the superstition that I don't believe in kind of craziness. But other than that, I really don't watch that movie. I guess Scream, because to me Scream's not that scary. Um, but I really don't watch a lot of horror movies. <laughs> My favorite Halloween themed movie would probably be, ooh, I love Hocus Pocus. I didn't watch Hocus Pocus until I was like 15. I really was introduced to this kind of stuff until way too late in life. I just recently, like this past year, became a fan of Harry Potter and I watched Harry Potter. I am late, okay? Um, <laughs> and, ooh, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Last year for Halloween, I was Jack Skellington. 
I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Heck, it can be like mid-June and I'll listen to Halloween music and Christmas music. I am that person. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Number three, would you spend the night at a haunted house? Wait, a fun house or a haunted house? There's a difference. Like those like stupid fun haunted houses that people create for carnival rides or for uh, like trick-or-treaters to go through. Sure, because they're fake and they're stupid and they're funny. Uh, a legitimate demon house that needs like exorcists? No. I don't mess with that world. Not, don't, I don't fear it, I just don't mess with it. Because I know that I ever did, I would fear it. <laughs> so, no. Number four. If you could pick a pet like Sabrina did in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, what would you choose? Well, I already kind of have one. Leo, my puppy, my baby, my little boy. He's a black dog. And previously to him, I had a black cat named Pinky. So, I'm very much in theme with that. But if I had to, if I had to pick like a non-traditional household pet like cat dog I'd probably pick ooh, a white tiger I love white tigers oh, they're so pretty or an owl which is all over my shirt um I think those have my other my other two I would get probably a white tiger I love tigers is that an option <laughs> but also then the classic crow would be interesting uh number five what will you be this year I will be a vampire uh, so actually, fun fact, I think my second or third year into doing Halloween, I was a vampire, but I did it wrong. I wore, I don't know what I wore, like something cheap from, I don't, even, I don't even remember what I wore, but I remember I had those like plastic teeth that like don't sit in your mouth. Like I did not look like a vampire. <laughs> I remember one year, my first year I was a black cat. Then I was a doctor, then I was a witch, and then I, when I was a vampire, um, when I was a rock star, I was a punk rock star, that was fun to do. Uh, I've been a bunch of random things. This year I'm actually going all out, I have a full on costume, I have the teeth, I actually have like fangs I can put in my mouth, I have the hands, the jewelry, I have some nails, I have like everything. I've been preparing. Uh, and then number six, tips on a quarantine Halloween. So um, if you can't trick or treat as it's looking, I can't. Uh, no trunk or treat or anything like that. Uh, I would recommend just having like a little get together with who you're living with. So if you're living with like your siblings and your mom, your dad, or like how it is with us, it's just the three of us, me, uh, my dad, my mom, and I, and of course our dogs. Try to get them to dress up if you can get them to dress up with you and make a bunch of food and watch scary movies and just eat candy at home, you know, don't go out and do that. Don't put yourself in COVID risk. Don't do that to yourself. If you can trick or treat and trick or treat and it's safe in your area, then just do that. Um, but no Halloween parties. None of that. Don't let, let's not make this any worse than it already needs to be. The fact that, that uh, most of our holidays are going to be canceled. I've even heard that Black Friday is going to be canceled because of COVID, which uh, pisses me off. So um, let's not make this any worse than it already has to be with spreading it even more. And just do parties at home, dress up, get candy from like the dollar store, and have like a fun little movie night. Decorate your house and just enjoy it with your who you're with. Uh, I know that it sucks that trying to celebrate holidays within the midst of a pandemic and I know we're all wanting to run out there but let's just stay at home for now and just have little parties with your family. If your parents really aren't into that and like no get out of here then try to do something in your backyard. Try to do it within of course the acres of your home and try to make it fun. Watch movies, eat, play songs, play games and keep your doors locked <laughs> so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video in the comments below what do you mean for halloween and what is your favorite halloween movie or or not let me know in the comments below i do read them uh and i will see you guys next time bye